Hey all, Will Healy here, and tonight I have a basics throwdown for you on discrete sensor outputs. I have PNP versus NPN. That, that's a little bit intense, but uh, I'm going to talk about sensor outputs, specifically discrete sensor outputs, and how important it is to, to know things about that. So, you know, a sensor output is always tied to what's called the load, and the load could be a light or an LED, could be a valve or a relay, or, or most commonly a PLC input or like an I.O. block input. Um, there's a really great Automation Insights blog by Henry Menke called An Easy Way to Remember PNP and NPN Sensor Wiring, and I really liked it. So I'll just share a few insights from it. But uh, just remember, really the easiest way to remember is the first letter tells you everything you need to know about how that sensor is wired. PNP is switching positive, so P for positive. And NPN is switching negative, so N for negative. Sometimes you hear sourcing, which is PNP. Uh, you know, bringing, PNP is bringing power to the load, so sourcing power to the load, so PNP is, is sourcing power. And syncing you hear sometimes, and, and that's NPN, and that's bringing common to the load or syncing the power away from the load. So that's why you're sourcing, uh, which is PNP, and syncing, which is NPN. So the sensor is bringing positive or negative to the load, the light, the valve, the relay, the PLC. So why would you pick one over the other when selecting a sensor, right? I mean, when you, when you, when you look at this device, it's, it's tripping, right? When I get my output, I'm, I'm bringing power. This is a PNP sensor, so it's bringing power and I get the light. So a PNP sensor output tends to be easier to understand for technicians and engineers because the positive output indicates on and no power indicates off. And that just logically makes more sense for most people. So you see PNP very commonly uh, across North and uh, North America, South America, and, and Europe. But uh, you also see NPN sensors very commonly in Asian manufacturers and uh, some in the Americas as well. So, you know, as with any design, we have both options uh, so that one style might be more appropriate for the application or wiring configuration. Um, another reason that you might uh, uh, not want to use NPN uh, is because if the cable got damaged for the sensor and that, that got grounded, this would actually read to a controller as an on signal, and that might cause motion or, or create a hazard unintentionally. So um, that's the difference between PNP and NPN. Uh, I'll, I'll make sure there's a link to the blog that Henry wrote in the comments. You have a great day.